Hello everyone, my name is Blake representing the Duelist Club. I am going to be showing you uh, True Dracos. I made a comment or I uh, discussed some updates from my last video which was the gold sarcophagus. If you have not seen that, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, but I did say that I was going to be doing a, a deck profile that is going to to be more competitive and this is the deck profile i kept it a little bit of a secret uh but yeah and then after this hopefully i can make the uh tenny my tenny update so just if you're not interested in this then uh just keep track and um wait for the tenny one i do want to say one thing is if you guys if no one likes true draco if you do not like true draco don't watch this video don't watch it because i've seen people play true draco and i've seen people say i hate this deck or i don't like it or you know or people when you play against it people hate it of course they do because it's annoying just if you don't like true draco please just don't watch it i'd also like to thank my friend for who's also part of the duels club his name's justin he helped me out make this deck he helped me out make this deck even possible so thank you justin for that uh he's been on a couple videos so thank you so much justin and we're gonna go ahead and begin this is the side deck so we're just gonna go ahead and go on for the main i'll explain the side deck later of course so for our first monsters i run three copies of ignis i'm gonna try to keep this as centered as possible three copies of ignis ignis is your searcher for spells and traps so whenever uh, an opponent would activate a card a card or effect then you can activate a chain of ignis and then search a spell card which is pretty good that's pretty much his basic effect of course he can also tribute himself with continuous but yeah that's basically his biggest effect uh, three copies of Majesty Maiden. Again, I'm trying to make this as even as possible so you guys can see it and it doesn't look too bad. Majesty Maiden, Majesty Maiden, sorry, searches monsters when your opponent would activate a card or effect. So, if you can chain to this to activate and then, um search a monster it also does the same thing you can special you can tribute summon it with a continuous uh spell go ahead and i run also one dynamite dynamite is probably the best one because it helps you search your uh it helps you search your traps whenever your opponent activates a spell trap so it's really good for that reason these are the mo these are all the monsters that I run, so I'm just gonna keep these out in the field for right now. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to our spells. So I run three Dragonic Diagram again. If you guys, I'm gonna say this right now. If you guys do not like True Dracos, do not watch this video. Okay, just let you know. Just don't. If you don't like it don't watch it okay i'm not trying to be mean or anything I'm just saying i know people hate this deck so uh three diagram diagram is your searcher and also your support card it helps you keep your true dracos on the field and survive uh it also when it, it also allows you to send a card from your hand or field to the graveyard and then draw a true draco or true king monster normally it's going to be true draco especially in this format uh that's basically the whole thing and then next, I run three copies of Heritage. Heritage allows you to draw one, or draw as many uh, cards from the... Depending on how many True Draco or True King cards were sent to the graveyard this turn. So sometimes you can get lucky and, you know, send like three. 
and then you can draw three and then you get into disciples and then you just activate disciples to target those three cards and then shuffle them in and draw one so i've had that happen it's just it's awesome so i love that it's it's so cool sometimes three copies of disciples as well talking about disciples three copies of disciples uh disciples allows you to target three true draco or true king cards in your graveyard and then shuffle them into the deck and then you could draw one these cards also the continuous cards also have the effect of putting in a, an additional tribute so just letting you know and then uh three copies of card of demise demise just works very well with this deck especially if you're going first or if you are in your second main uh the best some people don't know i've seen true draco players uh play this deck on wrong timing mostly because when you are going into your sometimes they don't remember that they're they need to go into the battle phase so normally when you activate this card you want to just go ahead and complete your battle phase and then use this card in your second main so just it's better that way sometimes you can't activate it if you have like if you're <laughs> if your hand is full of monsters and you just got a bad hand but yeah three card demise three duality you don't special summon in this deck so this this is just a staple card there we go yeah no no special summoning required in this deck so it's just a big staple card and then I also run two Desires. Uh, Desires is okay. I wouldn't run it. I don't recommend running it at three. At least I don't anyway. Um, I'm not trying to deck out or anything. And sometimes I, there's been points where I have almost decked out using Desires. So just I run two. And then one Terraforming to search out your diagram. Of course, with all the other searcher monk cards you have, you have... A lot of access to get into your diagram so it's pretty easy now we're going on to traps so the traps I run three apocalypse there we go three apocalypse apocalypse does a lot and this is this is probably the best trap one of the best traps you can have uh, when so you can, whenever this card is activated, you can send one uh, True Draco or True King card uh, from the field to the graveyard. And then all monsters currently on the field lose their attack for the entire duel. Or lose half, like the, their attack is halved. Also, this card is a tribute, an additional tribute. And when the uh, card is sent to the graveyard, then... Yeah, you can pop a monster. Oh, I didn't even mention. I'm sorry. The effect of Disciples and Heritage, whenever they're sent to the graveyard, they can pop back row. I never even mentioned that. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, whenever they are sent to the graveyard, uh, by any effect, they can pop back row. This can pop uh, the. This can pop monsters. So yeah. And then the next one, I run three monarchs erupt. Monarchs Erupt stops uh, effects from happening, so it kind of stalls your opponent a little bit. Unless they pop it, of course. But it hurts them a lot. <laughs> Especially since you don't... In this deck, you don't have an extra deck, so... it or Yeah, an extra deck, so... It hurts them more than it hurts anything else. There's a fly in here. Uh, the next one is... There can only be one. This card's a little bit pricey, I think, right now. So, if you are trying to make this deck at all, this card is a tiny bit pricey. I think he's like $10 right now. Something like that. Uh, he, if you don't know what he does, if you don't know what There Can Only Be One does, it, you can only have one type of card on the field, and only one. It's good for True Draco, mostly because you can stop your opponent from spamming cards really fast so if you were and it doesn't really hurt to have just one true draco monster on the field because you can 
constantly keep activating its effect to search unless it's majesty maiden but it's okay because then you can just you know tribute this card even if you don't need it all the time sometimes it's fine to have it up keep it on the field but you know uh then two waterfall these are your searcher cards of course you need the sometimes you want the additional search uh you can run three copies if you want i just run two i didn't really it's kind of the 40 card capacity and i didn't really have too much i didn't want to go over that so i ran two it's not it's not any worse by the way it's not too bad if you run two so don't worry about that i just run two just to keep this deck at 40 then i also run kind of a unexpected some people expect this now because it's run in a lot of decks right now is storming uh which you probably know it does if your opponent attacks it sends to the hand so it's kind of expected a little bit but not too much and then uh for my one-offs one true king return and one skill drain true king return uh does kind of the same effects as apocalypse but it instead of tributing anything it revives a true draco or true king monster so it's pretty good for that reason so since this deck doesn't have a side deck or an extra deck i'm sorry then we're gonna go on ahead and use the side deck so for the side deck inspector border i run three copies of inspector border why do i run inspector border on the side mostly because I don't always want to see him so and plus you have so many I so many ways of stopping your opponent anyway like there can only be one or you have negating floodgates your floodgates are fine so if you if you think that this deck needs the flood even more um, uh, stalls then go ahead and run this at I don't know two three it's up to you really but I like it at three I like it in the side deck just in case my opponent can actually get over stuff, you know, just to, just in case. So it's really good for that reason. A personal decision of mine, actually, I thought about this card. It, um, I run three Dankoseka. Why this card? Mostly because I know that it hurt. It can hurt you or technically expect your border can hurt you. This can hurt you. It really doesn't matter, but you don't sometimes if you're going up against pendulums or uh say altergeist or anything like that this card just hurts them a lot and plus you don't always need your effect monsters if you are able to uh not your effect monsters you don't always need your uh, spells and traps on the field all the time so if you are able to at least get a hard tribute out and then you normal summon this guy uh this card not hard tribute a uh, if you're able to uh use an additional tribute plus this then your opponent is locked out and then at least you get to attack over it and plus again this is an easy tribute card so if you don't like it you can run something else i just run it because it just seems like a good idea to you know block more than one card out uh then i run three the monarch stormforth stormforth is the probably the best one in fact i kind of i'm kind of trying to decide whether or not i should actually main this deck this card because it's just super good it allows you to tribute a an additional monster a monster from your opponent's field which is crazy i mean that's just i mean of course it has a little bit of a cost but it's not it's nothing like to worry about you know just i don't know i'm thinking about running this in the main deck going on to the traps in the side deck three anti-spell fragrance again just if your opponent is trying to do anything to stop you then and plus it is a it also is a uh, continuous, so if you're just trying to lock them out for that period of time, then go ahead and do that. 
and then you can go ahead and set this set this to the grave and then go ahead and continue your plays go ahead and, and i'm also running two rivalry i'm honestly thinking about setting the getting rid of the rivalry uh it's not as great as it used to be especially after there can only be one came out because it just kind of you know locked everything so you kind of have the expectation of that and it's not i don't know it's i don't see it as as competitive anymore so i'm con kind of considering it to be knocked out and replacing it and then i also run one imperial order to stop spells and traps from being activated also it's a continuous so it helps you get out your monsters easier uh, now this is the whole deck for right now. Uh, there's probably there probably will be an update at one point or another. Uh, I can't really tell you exactly when that would be because it's True Draco is always kind of you know again it's hated a lot around sometimes around Yu-Gi-Oh so. I've already warned you plenty of times, if you don't like True Draco, why did you watch this video that is 16 minutes long? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you Justin for letting me show this deck. Uh, if you guys like this video, or if you have any comments about what I should change, or if you or if you just want to talk Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, uh, just comment down below but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye